honestly, I do a lot of my design work in code because to me it's like working with clay. You kind of have yes. to feel out the different things going on yes. to even understand what the right solution is. I'm Jason, I work on the product at Cursor. I'm Rio, I work on design. I'd love to show you some of the new stuff we've been working on for the browser. Let's go, let's go. Cool. All you need to do is navigate to a browser tab inside of Cursor, select an element, and you can start making changes to your site directly. If you want to actually like rearrange the layout of something, just purely visually, you can now drag and drop. Oh, let's try to center this thing. Yeah, centering divs can be a bit of a pain. So um, yeah, all you need to do is just click on the alignment here, apply, and an agent will kick off to make those changes. Pretty good. Everything is connected to your code base. So if you want to change a font, you can easily use your existing font selection or use color tokens from your design system. We also make it really easy to tweak layouts. If you'd like to see this grid be vertical and not just horizontal, you just click on the grid selection, change the layout, add a max width, and center it inside of its parent container. So you can just click on the thing, talk to it, and iterate. Right, exactly. And I think iteration is just so key to building software that doesn't just help you test things and experiment things, it helps you actually make a better product. Yeah, as I play with it, I come up with better ideas and I keep going at it. If you'd like to make changes on a direct element, you can also select it and kick off another agent to run on it. I just feel like for so long, design and engineering have been seen as like two separate disciplines or two separate people. And with this new tool, we're able to combine both so that you can iterate not just on your designs, but on the actual product you're working on visually. It's not about, I'm a designer, I'm an engineer. We were forced to make a decision, right. but then now we don't have to. 